We gotta get through this, this forest and jungle. Oh, there's the beach. There's the beach. I can see the sand. In today's episode, we're diving into Sorsagon. We started with a quick tour, exploring the vibrant city and scouting for souvenirs. Oh my gosh, look at these. These are only 60 pesos. Then the Bakun market caught our attention with its incredible array of seafood. As we cruised along, a pit stop near lush coconut trees led to and to something unplanned. But hold on tight, because the real surprise awaited us in this 50 meters footpath that lead to our unexpected discovery. Some of the best beaches you gotta work for. We got about a 10 minute hike down this trail. So we're in Eastern Sorsagon, which is Southern Bicol. This is Halabong Bye Bye Beach, White Sand Beach. Let's get down this trail. Hello, como esta? Ah, entrance fee, 10 pesos. Pay a little 10 peso tax, 40 pesos, 80 cents US. Lame. Look at all the coconut trees. We can start to feel the water. Well, that's a nice little hike. We gotta get through this, this forest and jungle, and then we're gonna just appear on the beach. But we found some of the locals' houses here. Pretty simple housing. Typical Filipino life in, uh, when you're living way out in the middle of nowhere. But very clean. No trash anywhere. They always take care of their things here, even though they have just little. Always gotta respect what you have. I can see the ocean. Oh, there's the beach. I can see the sand. Ooh, look at this beach. Oh, this is... Very beautiful and busy. Lots of people here. Oh, nice clean sand. Not pure white, but it's nice. Oh, it's very low tide right now. Halabong Bye Bye Beach, a long stretch of beautiful golden brown sand. It's great for photos with its pretty view. The water's clear, but there are rocks and formations by the shore. You'll need to cross them to swim. This spot is called Halabong Bye Bye Beach, or in English, it's known as a long stretch of stunning golden brown sand. The fine golden brown sand of Halabong Bye Bye makes it more different from the other beaches in Sorsagon province. All right, simple. All right, we are down on the beach. Got some nice sandy areas here. Got a little rocky formation here. If you can see those white caps, those are waves out there. I don't know if you could do surfing on those, but seeing those white caps, it tells us that this shelf is very shallow up until those points of those waves. Pretty friendly place to swim. I like this. It was worth the hike, that's for sure. Families, we're gonna do some uh, eating. I think the boy is he's a little scared. Hello. The drone, several of them are. They think it's... Uh, an alien. Oh, um. It's beautiful walking down the beach. Last night we stayed at this luxury resort inside a, a coconut plantation. It was so nice getting away from all of uh, the noise of this world, the internet, and just being with peace. It was a beautiful thing. This event happened after we took a tour in the secluded Siyama Hotel, nestled in the midst of a coconut forest. Siyama Hotel was incredible, and I can't wait for you to catch that video. Stay tuned and subscribe to catch the upcoming video release. Never seen a beach with rocks on it like this. Just one giant rock. So down on the eastern part of Sorsagon. It's all right down here. We had fun last night. This afternoon, we got to go get uh, the Sorsagon city. We're going to go down into the seafood market where all the fishermen sell all of their stuff. Kind of interesting. Going to get some fresh catch here in the Philippines. It's all surrounded with salt water. So lots of fishermen. Lots of fishing. It's a big part of their, uh, not only their diet, but their uh, income for their families to support everybody. You can see obviously where high tide is. So we can see where high tide is. This is definitely low tide. Let's go see what the water feels like. Yeah, can't go too far. I don't have, I got stuff in my pocket. The water feels nice, warm. This is one of them Bonka boats. This is probably one of my favorite boat in the world, actually. It is so functional, but you can climb out on the rail riggers, dive off of it when you're out in the water. Highly functional, that's what I like it. Been doing a lot of scuba diving in the years prior on those boats. Let's go see what the family's doing now. We'll do some swimming here shortly. Hey, cool kid, come here. what you find? You find some shells? Oh, that one's kind of interesting. He's two weeks, Charlie, he doesn't like to walk. Come here. Are you okay? Are you going for high ground? Oh, wow, look at that. It's a big, huge log. 
Looks like the root base probably uh, washed up from the ocean. Now they did have a huge, huge typhoon here many years ago, two years ago. Devastating, devastating. Last year, a strong typhoon hit the beautiful province of Sorsagon, leaving big debris or tree trunks on the shore. But thankfully, they've Looks recovered. Looks like everybody recovered. Our unexpected find at Halabang Bai Bai Beach, right after exploring the secluded Siama Hotel nestled in a calm coconut forest, was simply incredible. The Siama Hotel was a peaceful hideaway surrounded by nature's beauty, and this beach is like a hidden paradise. Stay tuned for the video capturing our wonderful time at Siama Hotel. Don't forget to subscribe to catch it when it's out and immerse yourself in the peacefulness we enjoyed. Our Sorsagon journey was a mix of planned fun and wonderful surprises. Sometimes the unplanned parts make the best stories. For those seeking a break from city chaos, this peaceful beach awaits. Come, relax at Halabang Bai Bai Beach. Join us as we seek more soothing places in our next adventures. All in a day's fun for 40 pesos or 80 US cents. I'm trolling away and that was the beach just over there. We're gonna get back to the car. Only 40 peso, 80 cents for a days of fun. We'll see you in the next video. Gonna be some uh, videos up, to, up top that Google thinks you like. Playlist down below, big round button, subscribe. We love you people. See you next time.